want to bring back the director Jess Edwards. Come on out. soundtrack for the movement. I just wanted to bring joy to people alive. And I thought, you can get this done, we're showing it. It got me through my whole year. It made oh, everything into the joy that you brought me in my life. Is indescribable. So thank you so much. Jessica and Gary, they thought enough of me to let my story be known. I'm still full of it, y'all. No paper, no mind. I'm just happy. You know, but uh, uh, it's uh, what was it like some pops up there? What was it like seeing Pops up there? Oh, Jessica, I'm, tears are still flowing. And Pops looks so good. And, <laughs> and Pops with his pork chops. <laughs> <laughs> and when he said, I like you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Pops was great. It was, to see Pops was just, um, you know, just, just being with him again. Just being with my father. And, and you have so much stuff in that movie that just brought so much back to me. Um, I could visualize what we were doing after it wasn't on the screen anymore, you know? And uh, I just, I'm just, I'm just lost for words, really. I can't say enough how much I appreciate you and how much I'm, how grateful I am that my life will be documented now. And it'll go on and on. Yeah. And then... Yeah. What, what an amazing 
amazing trust too, because I mean, Jess has this is her first feature, the first feature she's ever made. She made shorts that we love and then we showed. But and so really talk about making this decision and getting Mavis to sign on and you know you finished it about three a minute ago. Five and a half minutes ago. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not, you, you would have to sort of speak to the trust thing, because you certainly trusted us, but I, I think that, I mean, Mavis has always been about family, and this is, was really a family affair for us. I mean, we went on the road, Gary and I at the beginning when we had no funding, and Gary and I took our three-year-old on the road and went to Mississippi and Dockery Farm and shot yeah. it and did the sound, and... Yeah, <laughs> so, so you got around, so we had to get around. <laughs> but that, that, I feel like maybe that it was like family. That it felt like family. It did. It did. And Jessica, she was so, um, you know, she she knew my age, so she gave me a plenty of uh, room. She didn't crowd me. She said, "Well, she let me rest in between, you know." <laughs> And uh, then she'd come back one night, one day, I, I just tried to get her to spend the night at my house. <laughs> but uh, it, was, it was just beautiful, the, the questions that she had researched, you know. And then she'd come back, that was up at Chester's Church, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah. Uh, you were sure? Go ahead. The, just the, she's asking about one of the churches that we filmed in, um, which is on the south side of Chicago, which is uh, Roebuck's um, brother's Brother. church. Uh-huh. Uncle Chester. Founded it, yeah. Yes. And, uh, and she found it. I, I didn't know the church was still, you know, standing. But uh, it was good to see it again. And it was good to see all of that stuff. Jessica, you really got down. You really got down. <laughs> She got down, y'all. But how did she find all? You made it so quickly. I mean, you know, in terms of like, I mean, I know you've been shooting up until five minutes ago, but in terms of finding the shape of it, I'm, I'm not beginning to but in terms of how you found the shape while you were still finding. Well, I mean, that was all Amy, but I mean, we <laughs> we shot like a lot of work. not really exaggerating when they say the documentaries are found in the edit. They really are. And we, you know, the first time that Amy and I sort of sat together after she had seen the footage, it was kind of like, you know, we got to find the movie. And you can't tell Mavis's story in 80 minutes without leaving something out. Like, there is inevitably going to be stuff that we couldn't cover because, I mean, you really have had such a rich, rich leg. So, you know, we picked the stuff that was really important for us and, you know, that we love, but that also, you know, as Amy and I sat and watched the footage, the important thing was to keep it about now, that we never really wanted it to be, you know, historical bio-documentary. We want, because... Mavis, I mean, you're out now. You go out. You still tour all the time. This yeah. is not. I'm still here. Yeah. She was just here last Saturday. How many yeah. of you were at the performance last week? <laughs> She's good. Yeah. We do have some mics up. If you'd like, to, if the audience would like to ask questions, you're welcome to line up with the mics. Okay. Mavis, I've been a fan of yours since uh, college, and I, I feel like Marty Stewart uh, at the time because when I discovered you, the uh, Columbia Mission came out of Freedom Highway. And I was like, this is the best music I've ever heard. And, and it's like, where are you? <laughs> I want to see you. Uh, so we've seen you a bunch of times. You actually kissed my cheek here one time. Oh, my God. Uh, I haven't watched it since. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Bob signed my guitar. And yes. it's, it's actually one of my proudest possessions because of uh, the, uh, the mix of uh, bringing uh, the world into the church and the church into the world. I think it's a beautiful thing. And I just have one thing to say to you. This is such a... a privilege to have this chance. This is what I tell people all the time. There's there's people who believe in God, and there's people that just haven't heard you sing yet. <laughs> this is an amazing film. Thank you so much for everyone who's worked on it. And this is going to sound like an extremely trivial question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Fashion sense is absolutely amazing. It always has been. <laughs> Your fashion sense is amazing. You have an amazing sense of fashion. Oh, and that is, and although your music, 
Oh, it's so wonderful. And I remember listening to your music on Saturday mornings with my family. This was, I'm not going to go through all the emotions I'm feeling right now talking to you. You're right, you're right here. Thank you so much. Could you speak really quickly about how you chose the, the clothing that you wore? <laughs> That is another part of the whole essence of your vibe. So I wanted you to talk a little bit about your fashion sense. Oh, sure. Tell them about your fashion sense. Back then, I was like a size five. <laughs> and and uh, I, I just, my sisters and I, we were actually my older sister, Cleetie. She was a designer. She, she in, in high school, she took dressmaking. You know, she was a, a but, but, I don't know, I just get what I saw that I liked. And uh, actually, too, Pops, Pops picked us some gowns for Soul to Soul. Those tie-dye gowns you see us in, in that movie, Soul to Soul, Pops picked those. But I never thought I was so good at fashion. <laughs> well, thank you, girl. <laughs> Uh, my, my, you know what? My managers, they don't think, they don't think I'm too cool. <laughs> they always want to go shopping for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you very much. Good job. Uh, Jim Carrap from Real Deal. I also wanted to ask a question about your hair. <laughs> because the choice of, of hairstyles and other things that we put on our head uh, is also a historical document of the times and I was very clear visually watching it. So I wanted you to talk a little bit about that and I wanted to ask Jessica. The clips, the talking head clips, each one of them were so important what they said and so personal about the way they talked about Mavis. So I'd like you to talk about how you and your editor found these, you know, we've watched a lot of music videos about the talking heads, but every single person who spoke in this film moved the story along and made it personal. So I thank you for that. So Mavis, talk about your hair. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just buy it. Those, those afros were bought? Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm these days, these days. <laughs> Back in the day, yeah, um, yeah we, I, 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 when, when um, Black and I Proud came back, we all wanted afros. And mine was a short crop, Yvonne's was a medium crop, and Cleetie's was a big crop, you know. Even my mother had a, an afro. And Pops, Pops is, even his, uh, Sideburns were afro. <laughs> but, um, but, but yes, we, 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 we would just do that ourselves. We would style our afros. We, we had our, sometimes we'd keep our cones sitting in our heads. And, you know, it was just the, at the time, the, the certain time, your hairstyle. And, you know, when you saw me with the sassoon, the big boom, oh, I was <laughs> I was on top of the world, man. <laughs> I was hot. <laughs> hot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But yes, I really loved uh, that style. And uh, we, we just, all of us, you know, just whatever was the time, we knew we had to change our hairstyle. And uh, these days, this is all you see. Is Stovall. <laughs> we actually, we when, when we were sorting out all the archive footage with, for the film, which I'm sure you realized was an insanely a huge amount of archive. We would, we, we had like the '60s, the '70s, and you know, after '80s, '90s. And the only way we knew where we were was because of your hair. <laughs> you like, this is a picture 
okay, 60s, this late 60s because Afro, early 60s because Sassy. Yeah. That's how we did it. But um, your question about the interviews, um, I mean, I feel we had a discussion very early on, and you know, it would not be hard to find people to talk about how great Mavis was and, and the staple singers were and how influential they were, but for us, it was really important that the people that we spoke with had a relationship with the family and or or you know really could could speak about something instead of just saying like they're great you know like we, we know they're great you're watching them be great so we really wanted to talk to people who you know knew them or knew about their lives or had you know were their neighbors and friends so that was I'm glad you saw that thank you <laughs> I think you're next congratulations Jessica great film really this is the best question ever. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> I love what you said at the very beginning of the film about singing all the time and every day that you breathe oxygen and exhale song. That's a great day. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to thank you also for you and Jeff Tweedy doing yeah. such a great job yes. Yes. on yes. Don't Lose This. I'm glad you and your sisters didn't lose yes. that. I knew you wouldn't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't lose it. Talking about sisters, I saw you and Bonnie Wright in concert one time, and y'all told a great story. I hope you'd share with us again today about your dads. Yes. Well, Bonnie, you know, one time she wanted to trade that. She wanted me to take her dad, and she'd take my dad. I said, no, <laughs> no, because your dad sings the stuff, uh, you know, that uh, Broadway stuff. Yeah, Broadway show too. Yeah, and I said, no, that's not me, so you hang on with him. <laughs> but, but I would really get jealous sometimes of Bonnie Pops. He was so crazy about her, you know. And and uh, they would even do sessions together that he wouldn't let me come to. You know? So so uh, I was I was really envious at a time, you know. And I said, well now how can I get Pops to treat me like he treat Bonnie? Should I get red hair? <laughs> Learn how to play guitar, you know? But no, we, we, we're, I call her my baby sister, and uh, we've come a long way together. But I'm not jiving about Pops and Bonnie. He was, he was, he loved her. I didn't exist when Bonnie was around. <laughs> yes, uh, but it turned out that when I did meet her father, her father liked me. <laughs> so I got her back. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, David Walker here from Nashville. Jessica, amazing, amazing job. Thank you so much. Uh, Miss Mavis. Um, Where are you? Right here. Oh, right okay. Here. okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. It's an amazing story of love, family, discipline, longevity, all of that. Could you speak a little bit about your mom? Because we didn't, oh. you know, cover her that much. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Mama, Mama Staples, my mother Osceola Staples. Um, she was she was the wheel in the middle of the wheel. You know, she kept us going. She was our our um, spiritual guidance. She kept uh, us, you know, from arguing or whatever. We. But, but mostly my sisters and I would only argue about uh, what we were going to wear on stage. One of us wanted to wear this, one wanted to wear that, you know. So, but uh, my mother was the greatest cook in the world. I mean, she, and when we leave town and come back home, you would think it was Thanksgiving or Christmas. She has to, but she always had me on the side, a little pot of red beans and rice, because that was my favorite, you know, but... Uh, she, she, she was the best. And everyone wanted to come to our house and have some of Mama's uh, food. Uh, Ray Charles, Nancy Wilson, uh, Reverend Ike. You know, Reverend Ike hadn't ever had greens. You know, <laughs> and she would make the best sweet potato pies. Ray Charles, Ray Charles told Mom, he said, uh, sister? <laughs> <laughs> You know, we can start a franchise with these pies. <laughs> <laughs> we can make big ones, little ones. We can love 
and the old mama gave me would always make him a pie to take back to the hotel with him. But with the disc jockeys, pops would take the disc jockeys a pie. And one of the guys came on one, one morning, ran, uh, Rodney Jones, E. Rodney Jones. He said, Lord boy, mom done made me another pie, y'all. I tell you, them staple singers, they got pie for us. They don't need to <laughs> wonderful person in the world, but don't ask her to sing. We used to beg mama. She starts singing, mm, now, there's a law. And, and she'd sing about three different songs in the, She'd do a medley. She didn't even know she was doing a medley. But we would lay out on the floor just like, mama, please stop. <laughs> she was the most beautiful person in the world. Miss Osceola State. We're gonna, unfortunately, we only have time for two more to you and then you. Okay, great. Miss um, Mavis, I'm, I'm over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so this might be a challenging question, uh, but what's your favorite album? What's your favorite song in this? If you could pick one, just one, I know it's hard. Just in the just movie one. or okay. Oh, or okay. You know what? I'll, how about in the movie and outside of the movie? I'll, see you. I'll tell you, my, yeah. my very favorite song is Respect Yourself. Yeah. Respect Yourself. Yeah. 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 And, and Pops, you know, uh, uh, he sings, he's so cool when if it is respect, everybody then. Sly Stone came to Pops one time. He said, Pops, give me the bag. And Pops said, what you talking about, man? I don't got no bag. He said, I know you got the bag in your pocket, Pops. You're too cool. You still, you, you just, you lay back. <laughs> and uh, my brother was standing there. Pops was so confused about this bag. <laughs> and Purvis, Purvis said, Daddy, he talking about marijuana, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I said, man, you better get one away from me. <laughs> but he just, he, uh, respect yourself, the message in respect yourself. Um, uh, one of the Blackstone Rangers, one of the worst uh, uh, gangs in Chicago, came to Pop. She said, Pop, I'm so glad you and your girls made that respect yourself. He said, I didn't know I wasn't respecting myself. So he'd be on the bus. And a senior citizen was standing up. He said, I just keep sitting down. But he said, today, if I see one standing up, I get up and I let her sit down. And Pop said, well, you know, that's what the song is about. If you don't respect yourself, ain't nobody going to give a good cahoot. You know, so <laughs> respect yourself. That's my favorite song. Yes. Hi there, um, my name is Greg. Hi um, Greg. I'm here from uh, Toledo, Ohio. Okay. And um, uh, far away, far, far away. And um, I, I'm actually interning with South by Southwest. Oh, right. And I'll be honest, I feel so blessed to be here because I was supposed to be doing something else, but that's. <laughs> and, and, and to watch this film and see how much you respect your family. Um, my dad unfortunately passed away about 11 years ago and one thing he told me was you can do whatever you want. He goes, I, I don't care. He goes, but get an education and love your family. He said, take care of your family. And, and I remember watching you a tweet and you're just listening to your dad's voice. And I just, and I, I hope it's not selfish, but I was thinking of mine, my dad. Yeah, yes, yes. And um, there's not a day that I don't think about him. Mm -hmm. and, and, and my dream was always to make music. And, and I'll be honest, I'm not good enough. But <laughs> I'm self-taught, and so but that's not the point. The point is, is that I'm here at this amazing festival, and 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 I, I'm living a dream. And, and something I watched with you is, is you just keep living your dream and you keep, and you keep spreading this joy 
And that's what I try and do with everyone around me every day. And I, and I genuinely mean that. And that's why I'm so lucky. I work in the volunteer department and I meet so many amazing volunteers. Can we give a round of applause for our volunteers here? <laughs> I'm just so blessed that I was able to see this because I think there's so many people who sometimes forget the love for family and the love especially for your dad and your mom and just your siblings. I just want to say thank you so much because you are such a beautiful woman and, and I, I did not know your story before today yes. and I'm so glad I do because it, it makes me feel okay to be who I am. Right. And I a little bit more of who they are and they're going to share some music with us. Yeah, you guys want to hear some So we're going to get out of here. Just give us a second and uh, we'll Let's hear a little music. stick around. Oh. Okay. Gary, yeah. I love music. I love music.